The Colorado Springs community held a vigil outside the club tonight to remember the victims. A similar vigil happened tonight here in Des Moines as fear grows within the LGBTQ community. WHO 13's Elias Johnson joins us now and Elias, terrifying for the entire community. Yeah, where it happens in one place, it's felt everywhere else and it's a feeling the community experienced in 2015 after the Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando, Florida. They hope to never have that feeling again, but the Club Q shooting has reopened those emotional wounds. It's the grief of having their safe space shattered by gunfire and bigotry and the helplessness of trying to find a way forward. A place of celebrating a home has been desecrated by hate and violence and our hearts ache. Crowd of mourners you see there packing into the parking lot next to Blazing Saddles in the East Village. Blazing Saddles, like Club Q, is considered a safe bar for the LGBTQ community. The crowd held up candles and prayed for the five Colorado Springs victims we just saw. They also shared their fears about violence toward Iowa's LGBTQ community. We deserve to live our lives just like everyone else. Why can't we live in peace and be happy? We cannot back down. We are scared. I am scared. I've had messages reach out to me of folks saying they're scared. I'm scared too. I'm scared. But you give me hope. This vigil also honored Transgender Remembrance Day that was observed in Des Moines officially yesterday. Blazing Saddles has been a target of vandals over the years, but they use every instance of hate to bring people together. These uh, two themes that rose during uh, the sacrifice during tonight's vigil, uh, the anxiety and heartbreak among those in the community just trying to be themselves and the resilience of being visible in the Des Moines area despite the tragedy. But uh, once again, Janae, an opportunity to come together as they commonly do. Yeah, nice to see some unification there. Thanks, Elias.